you have a history of sound money and the mechanism by which interest rates are maintained or altered, you believe could use some tweaking. Why don't we get right into it? You've been put forth as a potential nominee to be a Federal Reserve governor. What do you think about how quick we can make any modifications and how long would that process take? And is the Federal Reserve ready? Even though Jay Powell, I think, has already made that turn after he paused and pivoted uh, in January. Well, Rick, thank you for having me. And um, I do think this is a pivotal moment for the Federal Reserve. Um, we've seen a Fed that is somewhat humble and, and asking itself questions about how its models work. Um, when you bring up the issue of paying interest on excess reserves, that's really the primary mechanism that the Federal Reserve uses today to, um, to drive interest rates in one direction or another. It was, it was adopted as an emergency measure in October uh, 2008. And here we are 11 years later, and uh, I, I think it's not a good practice for the Federal Reserve as an agency of the government to be paying banks uh, 2.35 interest rate on reserves that are sitting there doing nothing. <laughs> it's like um, the basic uh, income model, of uh, universal income, where you pay someone to do nothing. Um, the goal of, of banks is to serve as the financial intermediaries and to take the savings of people and make them available as the seed corn for investment. And I think that the Fed is giving a disincentive to banks when it pays them to sit on the reserves. And, um, and I notice banks are not really passing on that excellent rate, 2.35 percent, that they're getting on deposit accounts to actual depositors, people with checking accounts who are getting nothing. Dr. Judy, here's the issue, though. Basically, the Fed now has gone full in on using reserves to tweak uh, the effective, uh, uh, to hold the effective rate. In the old days, they buy and sell securities. If we go back to that, A, there's the issue of what we do with all the securities, how long will it take to drain them off, but maybe an even bigger issue is, is that that's going to be a long process. Uh, do you think it's something that Jay Powell and company are ready to discuss? Well, I think, as you point out, things shouldn't happen too quickly. What you don't want is to disrupt financial markets, because once you kind of set the rules, people act accordingly. So it's not fair to pull the rug out from under them. But I think it would be wise to think in terms of some kind of a glide path, whether it's one year, two years, but some kind of a glide path toward reducing that disincentive and, and getting rid of that practice. Because there are recent studies that are now showing um, before the crisis in 2008, 93 cents out of every dollar deposited was used to make loans to consumers or make mortgages. Um, to me, when banks make, make loans to small and medium-sized business, for example, those are productive loans. Those actually involve risk, but the goal of a bank and of any loan officer is to assess, assess the character of the borrower and their plan and their commitment and to say this is a worthwhile risk and we're going to end up with um, a greater reward in the future. That's, that's the whole idea of capitalism. So I think you, know, you don't want to discourage it, that kind of productive lending. Now, my final uh, topic, we have about a minute and a half left, Judy, is the notion that Donald Trump, President Donald Trump, has made it no secret he thinks lower rates are better, especially as this issue with China is ongoing. You, at one point, uh, during the campaign and the transition, believe that as well. But you're not necessarily in that camp today. Your final thoughts on what has changed? Well, the big thing for me is you don't want the central bank or Federal Reserve giving you an artificial interest rate. I have more faith in free market mechanisms, a more organically determined rate. I think something fundamental has changed from the earlier days prior to the Trump administration 
What we now have is a genuine pro-growth economic agenda, and we're seeing results. We're seeing productive growth. We're seeing higher numbers in terms of the GDP number, strikingly high growth. We're seeing increases in wages, and yet inflation has not been an issue. So the last thing you want to do is starve a, a high growth productive economic trend by not providing the financial resources. So that is, that is the difference, and that is why um, I am prepared to concentrate on the mechanism, but for the purpose of prolonging and even further empowering a productive growth strategy. You know, Dr. Shelton, we also have something big happening today. We have the minutes to the last FOMC meeting. And many, including parts of the market in a static uh, snapshot, believe that an insurance ease is necessary because inflation just doesn't seem to be hot or getting hotter. Now, if you saw the current conditions, how would you view an insurance cut? Is it something you would consider when you look at the notion that it's very iffy trying to control inflation. Most central banks haven't been able to get it to rise to levels that they have been hoping for. Well, I think that's the main point. We've had this idea that uh, the Federal Reserve can control inflation. And, and it turns out that you see countries such as Japan who, who try forever to unleash inflation and, and it doesn't work. So that is why we have to start thinking about whether a central bank could end up doing more harm in its attempt to, to keep flogging away at um, some inflation number. I think, I think the Fed is starting to say, is inflation targeting the most effective way to try to calibrate the um, money and credit needs um, of an economy to purposes of, of growth? And, and so we're now reevaluating all that, and, um, and, and it's time to just have a, a fresh idea of making sure that money is reliable and, and not, not a tool of government policy, but rather a, a measurement tool so people can plan ahead and so free market mechanisms can work.